Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you are all doing extremely well. In this lecture, I am going to explain what does it mean by LRA cache and in the next lecture, we are going to see the implementation of it. Before going further, I highly recommend you to please start watching from lecture 1 till whatever I am going to post in this series and I strongly believe that at the end of this series, you will be in a position to solve any Linkalish based problem in an interview. Without further delay, let's get into today's In this video, we are going to understand about LRA cache and its functional behavior and in next lecture, as I said, we are going to do the implementation of this. Before going to understand about LRA cache, first we have to understand about what is mean by cache. So a cache is a small memory that temporarily stores most frequently data in our computer. It's a great way to get the data that is used most often because the retrieval process is going to be super fast. But the limitation is cache memory is limited in size. That means we need a mechanism to manage the data that present in cache because whenever we want to insert a new data, we need to know on what criteria, on what basis we need to remove the old data, right? So that we can make a room for the new data. I give an example. So if my cache size is of 1 KB, so my cache got fooled and I want to insert some new data into the cache and I need to know on what basis, on what criteria I need to remove the old data so that I can make a room for my new, my new data, right? So that is what this LRU comes into the picture. LRU is a cache replacement algorithm that tells us in which way we need to remove the old data. I mean, what is the criteria we need to consider in order to remove the old data to make room for the new data. And it needs to keep track of what was used and when was used. Okay. LRU is one of the cache replacement algorithm. We have few more algorithms on this. But this is one of the famous algorithm which generally ask in interview also. Without further delay, let's go to our board to understand it practically. Let's assume we have a e-commerce site like this. And I'm taking Amazon as an example. So in Amazon, Amazon sale is going on actually sale is going on so in the mobile screen page they listed down iphone 12 iphone 11 samsung galaxy a3 a2 and nokia and some lg related so these are the six kinds of mobiles so they listed on their home page of the mobile screen now we have a cache of size 3 3 that means it is going to hold the hold the three pages only at a time now what happened the sale is started people are interested more in buying the iphone 12 so the iphone 12 is getting demand so we look at the cache so cache is empty then we are going to insert the iPhone 12 into the cache. Why we are doing this? Because if you insert this into the cache, the retrieval is going to super fast because every time it's uh, not a good to call the DB to fetch all the product details and to display on the UI. So if we have cached that complete page, so we can completely uh, retrieve that page whenever the users are going to hit that product every time. Okay, so in this way, so we are going to increase the responsiveness of our page also and we are going to increase the performance also. Now what happened is going forward, going forward. So A3 got demand. Okay, so now we inserted A3 into our cache. So the cache now currently has two size. Now later going forward, the demand is going, uh, demand got increased for Nokia. Then we inserted Nokia also. Okay. And with this, the cache size is full. Now what happened after some time, people now interested to buy iPhone 11 again, right? So in order to make room for iPhone 11, okay, we need to have the some mechanism to delete the old record from this cache, right? So the cache size is full currently. 
So LRU tells us you need to return the least recently used. So assume the priorities are like this iPhone 12 initially and iPhone uh, sorry A3 Samsung Galaxy then Nokia. That means iPhone 12 has a less visitor count than iPhone uh, sorry Samsung Galaxy A3 and it has less user clicks less than the Nokia. That means 12 is the least recently used and that is eligible to get deleted. So we need to delete this 12 in order to make room for the 11. So 12 is going to be deleted here completely and 11 is going to be inserted here. Now you can see here the size is full and the uh, 11 priority is going to be here 4. Now you can carefully observe A3 is the least recently used. But in the process of sale, what happened is the demand for Nokia got increased suddenly. Okay, now people are visiting Nokia more and more and more. So what happens here is, so we need to put Nokia to the top and we need to, what I can say, shift 11 to the down. Okay, that means my side, my map is going to be something like this. I mean, cache is. So A3, 11 and Nokia and here Nokia is going to be MRU that is most recently used and A3 is going to be LRU that means least recently used. Now let's try to understand the other case. So the sale is going on and everything is going fine. On of sudden the demand of LG got increased. Now like lakhs of people are visiting this LG page to buy this particular smartphone. But our cache is full, right? So it got already filled with three pages. Now we need to remove something. And as we know here, LRU based on that A3 is eligible to get deleted. So A3 got deleted and LG got a place into this cache. Now you can observe here, my cache is having now LG, Nokia 11 and my MRU is going to be my LG because this is the most recently used one. Okay, at this point of time, I have LG Nokia 11. Now let's try to understand one corner case. What happens is after some time, after some time, so the demand of 12 got increased. Okay, so demand of 12 got increased, but here my cache size is full. Then what I need to do? You know it, you need to insert this 12, you need to delete this 11 because that is the least recently used. Okay, that's fine. But after some time, my 11 got demand. Okay, now people are visiting more on the 11, iPhone 11 product. Now you need to rearrange this cache in such a way your 11, sorry, your Nokia is going to be the least recently used, your LG is going to be in between and your 11 is going to be most recently used. That means LG is now visiting by lot of people and Nokia is visiting by less compared to the LG and iPhone 11. So this is all about the LRU algorithm. So the only thing you have to keep in mind that so which one is getting used recently, I mean least recently and which one is getting used most recently. So based on these two, you can able to identify which page is eligible for getting deleted. So this is one practical example on LRU and I hope you understood the algorithm purpose. Now let's go and try to understand how we can implement. So if we carefully observe, if my cache is of something like this, I'm taking iPhone 11, some Galaxy A3, some iPhone 11. So we need a mechanism in such a way the link should be enabled between these pages so that it would be easy for us to navigate between the pages to retrieve the particular page whenever user hits or else to remove the particular page whenever a new record get inserted okay so for this the best data structure is doubly link list okay which enables us to have the links between this page and eventually it will help us to perform this all operations but the uh, disadvantage of this is if you go with only this data structure example the after iphone 11 so the demand of Nokia got increased and we know we need to insert Nokia but for that we need to uh, delete the 13. In order to delete that we need to traverse this complete list 
right so that you can able to delete and this is going to take big of n time complexity and that is what not expected of this algorithm so it needs to perform in big of one time complexity this is not expected so in order to make it work in big of one so we are going to take uh, another data structure called hash map so with the combination of dll and hash map we are going to implement this lru algorithm to perform these operations in big of one time complexity and i hope you understood this complete process if not please do let me know in the comment section and i will be very happy to explain you in detail and in next lecture i am going to explain the implementation of this algorithm till then please do subscribe to my channel and happy learning